Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Matt's Cigars and Whiskies. Now in this episode, I'm going to be doing a review of a rum. You all know if you've watched my videos previously how much I do enjoy a rum in the summer. And this is one is no exception. It is another Cuban rum. It is another Havana Club. Now this is the Anejo three year old. Basically what this rum is, even though it is a clear rum, it is aged within bourbon barrels for three years and it's then filtered and more and more and more until it comes down to the clearness. Now in the actual description of this, I found out there's coloration added. Now coloration for that you're talking must be the most minuscule amount of color, mainly because it's very clear. There is a slight hue in there, maybe a very uh, light coloration added. I do not know, I might be wrong, but that is just what I read when researching about this. Now this is sold, don't get me wrong, you can drink this straight, I do drink it straight, but this is sold mainly to put into mixers. Now it's made and it's aged in Cuba, it's a molasses based rum, and it's like I say, it's three years in bourbon barrels, so hopefully it's picked up some of those flavours. But you'd expect it to be a lot darker, but they do say it is filtered a hell of a lot to bring it down to the more right white rum type of look. For a bottle of this, you're looking at around about £20. It is available in many supermarkets. You'll find Havana Club in many supermarkets. There's a Skepta edition out as well, which is a seven-year-old, which I nearly purchased last night, and I will purchase it at some point in the near future. Uh, like I say, at the minute, though, I'm still job hunting, so uh, I, can't, I can't waste my money. I've got plenty of whiskey to review and rum and God knows what else to keep me going for a couple of, uh, for a little while anyway, until I can justify buying more bottles. But what I'll do is I will uh, come back in a second, we'll take this on the nose and we'll start getting my thoughts on the Havana Club, three year old Aneco, matured in bourbon barrels, filtered to turn it back into a white rum. Let's see what we get from this. Welcome back. Let's take this on the nose and let's see what we get from the Havana Club Anejo aged three years. Before we do this, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, show your love. Let's help the channel grow. Let's get it up there. I want to be on at least 800 subscribers before Christmas. I've made my missus a promise, if I hit 800 subscribers, I'm gonna buy a nice pair of shoes. But let's just have a look at this on the glass. Three years old rum. It's got some viscosity to it. It runs down fairly quick, but it does hold, it does give legs, it does hold on there. The three years this rum has spent in the bourbon barrels, it's thickened it up, you know? It's a, it's a molasses based rum. So to start off with, it's gonna have a little bit of elasticity to it. It's gonna be a bit, gloopy anyway but yeah it's definitely uh definitely going to be one that holds like i say on all the on all the uh, descriptions i've read this it says coloration added i'd say it's more coloration take away the way it's been filtered to remove the bourbon barrel influence but you never know i could be wrong there might be something added to it just to give it a slight hue in the rum but it's a white rum it's one that's perfect for mixing into mojitos and things like that daiquiris Let's see what we get on the nose from this. A lot of pineapple, tropical fruits. There's a hell of a lot of pineapple going on in this. Lemon sherbet, vanilla, quite a bit of wood in there as well. Oak, the oak influence is in there. You can pick it up at the back. You can definitely pick up the, the like foisty, woody, oaky type smell. But it's the pineapple. It's the tropical fruits that are giving this the actual, giving it the zing of what it is to be honest with you, the lemon sherbet I'm picking up as well. And like I say, you've got the wood in there and you've also got vanilla. There's not a lot else going on in there on the nose to be honest with you, not that I can pick up anyway. I wouldn't say I'm getting any Demerara sugar on the nose. I wouldn't say I'm getting anything that would suggest this is molasses based, like there's no gloopiness going on. There's no sugar caney type smells coming through. It smells quite subdued. It does smell like one that if you were to put it into a cocktail, it wouldn't be overpowering the other smells coming off the cocktail. If you added like fresh pineapple juice to it, orange juice, etc., cranberry juice, whatever you want to add to it, I think the flavours would go together very well and this would not overpower them. 
But what are we going to get on the palette for this? I'll come back in a second and I'll give you my thoughts. Right, welcome back. Let's see what I can get on the palette from this Havana Club three-year-old white rum. A lot of brown sugar. Nothing coming through on the nose. But on the palette from this, there's a lot of brown sugar going on there, like a demer demerara type sugar. On top of that, I'm getting lemon sherbet sweets. The lemon sherbet smell that's coming through in the nose is now coming through in the flavor from this, like a hard boiled candy. It's very creamy. There's vanilla in there. Coconut, tropical fruits again. I'd even go as far as to say there's a slight spice in the background of this as well. Definitely feel it tingling across the tongue. I wouldn't say it's cinnamon. I would say it's more maybe like a uh, like a ginger. Maybe like a ginger bready. Definitely say there's ginger in there. Definitely tastes it like hot, warm and spice. And that comes through more as you head into the finish. Yeah, the finish on this. You're talking sweet, talking sugary, talking slightly fruity, and you've definitely got some ginger. I'd say it's not cinnamon, I would have said that's ginger. Coming through, burning the tongue on the way out. But it holds in there, and that's bloody lovely. And it really is, that is a really nice rum. Like I say, it's 15 to 20 pounds, you can pick it up in Tesco, Sainsbury's, places like that. And it's definitely one that if you want to try a rum, it's fairly cheap. Buy this, try it straight, try it neat. And if you didn't like it neat, you can just mix it with Coke if you wanted to. Or like I say, you can make cocktails with it. It's what it is really designed for. Now, as a rum, as rums go, it's not up there with the big hitters. It's, it's not really fantastic, but it does what it does at its cost. Marks out of 10 for this, I'll give it a 6.7. It's above average. It's good. You're paying 15 to 20 pounds for a white rum. You can't expect the world from it, but for that price bracket, it does do a very good job. It really does. And like I say, if you like mixing, if you like cocktails, this is definitely one I'd suggest to have within your cabinet. A lot of coconut. There's a lot of tropical fruits going on in there. Pineapple, coconut. It's lovely. And like I say, with the little spicy kick at the end, it really is a fantastic rum to drink. And if you had a tot of this on an evening in the summer, like it is today, it's boiling outside. You're talking 30 degrees plus. I'm going to go outside after this. I'm going to sit by the pool and I'm going to finish this rum. So you take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next review. <laughs>